Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin. Welcome to my Jurassic Park series. If you guys don't know, I've been planning to do this for a while now. Um, if you haven't seen my breakdown for the you know sneak peek uh, like video of like the Jurassic World Dominion, like the first five minutes of that, uh, I I mentioned that I would be talking about every single Jurassic Park movie leading up to the new one um, coming out. Uh, I believe June, uh, June. Uh, so we'll be reviewing each Jurassic Park movie once a month. Of course, starting with the best one, Jurassic Park. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I mostly tell people the favorite movie of all time, which is mostly true. Like I really like this movie. Like if you say, "Hey, we're gonna watch Jurassic Park," I'll be like, "All right, yeah, I'm down. I'll cancel whatever I got to do. I'll cancel my date. You know, you know, blow off someone. I'll be there." It's not like I get any dates or hang out with anyone, but hey, I will be there. Um, you know, that was supposed to be a positive thing, but then I decided to insult myself right there. Um, <clears throat> I mean, like, I don't know really what else to say that, th that hasn't really been said about this movie, but the one thing that this movie does over, um, better than the other ones is that it really dives into their characters more. It's more It's more than about dinosaurs. Like, you know, like, the, yes, the dinosaurs are there. We want to see the T-Rex be a badass, eat, eat the lawyer, and all that. Like, but my favorite part in this whole entire movie is when they're in this, uh, when they're in the room at the beginning of the movie, that's uh, one well, somewhat at the beginning of the movie before um, anything happens. Is uh, It's with Alan Grant, um, Jeff Goldblum as, um, as Ian Malcolm and Ellie Sattler, Laura Dorn, um, and John Hammond, and all in the lawyer and all that, um, they're talking about like how a bad idea that this is. Like how how do we have the possibility of what could happen? Like so, like like that. It's so good. It, like it's just like you like it's like yeah. I agree. I, like this is a terrible idea. Um, this shouldn't be happening. Jurassic Park is a mistake. And so it's like I you can get behind these characters. I can root for these. John Hammond, you can root for, but he, and you know, in a different way. Like you can under, like you understand, like everyone's perspective in this movie, and like when the other ones come along. I even, I even love the Lost World. We'll talk about that one. But like you know, like Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World. Um, it kind of just loses that like meaning of what makes the first one so good. It's like, and and it really just doesn't really focus on their characters. I mean, it does but not in the way that we want it. And it kind of just shits on the dinosaurs. Um, but we'll talk about that when it comes along. Um, so that's like my favorite scene out of all of them. Like even, uh, even when, uh, like when everything starts to happen, when the power, go uh, the power goes out throughout the whole entire park, everyone's going through the same thing. Like you understand where each character is, you understand what they're going through, but mostly they're going through the same thing. It's just survival and they're in one little and they're basically in one location throughout the whole entire movie, which is great. As soon as that T-Rex, you know, starts storming out of his um, habit, uh, his, you know, cl closer, it's just it's just great. I mean, like Steven Spielberg had, had did a great job on this movie. 95% of this movie is practical at least when it comes to wide shot uh no not wide shots but close close up shots but most of the time if it's a wide shot it's cgi but they use animatronics and they can and they mix it with cgi which just makes this movie better and holds up to this day and it doesn't like like yeah there's one or two shots in the movie that you can tell like okay that doesn't look as great anymore but it's not like something like in you know in the phantom menace where the whole entire movie looks like shit so it's like all right that's good. I like it. Um, let's just see some dinosaurs eat some people, which hardly any dinosaurs are in this movie. Uh, I believe if I had to name, if I, I don't, I'm terrible with naming the dinosaurs, but if I had to number off how many dinosaurs are in this movie, it's probably just, the maximum is four, probably four. Um, and that, and I mean species, like, um, but so it's just like, it's so good. Like, I, I fucking love it. I don't know what to really say about Jurassic Park that much. Because it's been right. I'm not trying to go, like, in a full depth type of review or anything. But, like, the stuff that I can point out that makes this movie great. And, like, you know, Alan Grant. Like, his character arc is, like, the best character arc throughout the whole entire movie. Everyone else sort of has the same. They start out the same and end the same. But him at 
as a character has the best one. Even John Hammond also has a character arc, uh, of course. But but Alan Grant, like he, at the beginning, he's just like, I don't care. Uh, I just want to focus on my dig site. And like, I don't want to deal with kids. And at the end of the movie, it's complete opposite. It's like he's amazed, but at the same time, terrified what just happened. But he's also like warmed up to, you know, maybe having kids in the future. Um, hopefully they get um, Laura Dern and like uh, uh, Sam Neill back together in the next movie because them breaking up in the um, Jurassic Park 3 is just the most ridiculous thing ever. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really great movie. I really love Jurassic Park. I'm going to give Jurassic Park an A+. Plus. I'm glad they keep this one short and just, you know, talk about certain things that I really liked. I mean, like, if you really try to go into deep and you you probably can say something bad about it, like nitpicking, but really, it's like, do you really want to? I mean, unless you just despise people and it's like, yeah, you oh, you like that? Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I got it. All right. Here's one bad thing. It's like, okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Glad that you wasted your own time instead of doing something better with your life. But sure, 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 go. You, you go off in your corner over there. But yeah, Jurassic Park is a fantastic movie. I can hardly see any flaws. Like I said, maybe one or two scenes that the CGI doesn't really hold up. But it's really a great character de uh, development movie, and it's a great thriller. Hopefully you guys enjoy the review. Uh, get ready for next month. Uh, the Lost World we'll be talking about with is the most like hated Jurassic Park movie in the franchise. But me personally, I love it. I think it's it, it does have problems. It's not as good as the first one. But I really do love that final act with the T-Rex in, uh, in Los Angeles. Not a lot of people like it. But me personally, I really love it. And we'll talk about why in the next review. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys. Bye.